Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing something new again. Uh, we're going to be doing an unboxing. A couple days ago I was on Instagram and I saw that Barnes & Noble was doing a Star Wars Black Series. I think they called it Archive. Uh, grab bag basically mystery box if you want to call it that so this is a figure uh it was 20 bucks discounted down to five dollars uh i'm thinking what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add it to my shelf about right there not about right there. yeah you get the point so we're gonna open this up we're gonna see what it's inside four possible figures you have luke you have boba fett and then honestly you have two bounty hunters i don't really even know who they are uh i've only seen the star wars movies i love star wars but i'm not a i haven't seen the shows i haven't read the comics i haven't read the books but it's two guys i looked up i think their name is uh one of them is bosk and the other one is let's see I think it is like IG-88 if I remember correctly yeah IG-88 they're both bounty hunters uh, Bosk is like a lizard and IG-88 is like a droid I guess so uh, let's open it up I'm really hoping to get one of the two characters that I actually know to be honest, I'm kind of hoping for Boba Fett more than Luke. So that would be... I mean, it was five bucks, so I'd be good with any of them, but I do have my preferences. I'll let you look in the box first. Hopefully the thing's not upside down, or... That would be very anticlimactic. Yeah, I can already know this little piece of paper, so let me get the little goodies out. Oh, I saw it. So it is... The Lizard Man. Bosk. I know he's been in some of the uh, shows and... I want to say he was an Empire Strike Back when Darth Vader hired the bounty hunters to find Han Solo. Uh, I read up on him a little bit before because I was interested and he was basically basically uh, Boba Fett's... He was basically Boba Fett's, uh, the guy that teaches them how to do everything, whatever that's called. The lighting isn't very good, but you can see, I'll take him out. He's not going to be coming out of the box anyway, so. There, you can see him a little bit better. So there, you can see him a little bit better. I'm not going to do like a full figure review, but he's got articulation and all the important areas so he's gonna go on the shelf he comes with a little gun you can see right there so let's see where we can put him oh and I forgot to add that whenever I get my room my man cave uh, up to par I'm gonna do a little man cave video but we we'll give you all a little sneak peek right here of my uh, I mean y'all kind of already see it a little part of it in the back but I'm gonna give you all a little view of the better view of the shelf let's go check it out I think I've shown this before but the Kylo lightsaber one of my favorite pieces that I have
Peter Parker Vic figure I did a review on. I'll, I'll link that below. And then, of course, my Infinity Gauntlet. And until I can find a little better place to put him. Of course, I'm not going to be able to get him to stand up, but. Nah, it's too much work. But you get the idea. Here you see a couple pop figures. A couple CW. DC and Star Wars. You have your Spider Man mask. These little weird figures from McDonald's. I love this Thor and Thanos pop figure from Infinity War. Got some Iron Man stuff. And here's what I did with the Bosk figure. Got him in a nice little pose there. He looks pretty good. So as always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. There's a little subscribe button right down there. So it's super easy to do. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.